Uh, this is the last Tesla story. Apparently, this there's something that has left, a feature that has left the passenger seat. This is the lumbar support. Are you a lumbar guy, Will? Yeah, I love me a good lumbar. You would, you would, you would push the button on the lumbar? Uh, to, to, for my car? Like, like if you had the... Okay, so you get this little dial and you can actually protrude more like in the lumbar region yes or less yes you can fine tune it yeah so I you do it on my chair it's great you would tune it up mm -hmm. every you, day i just it's like this weird mechanism and you just move it up and down so you would, i always put it in check so you would like it to be pronounced or you would like it to be subtle uh i like subtle okay I so like just subtle, a little yeah. bit of extra anyway yeah. so this is a common feature obviously and it's never in the back seats, but it's often in the front seats. Sometimes the driver only, and sometimes both front seats. Anyway, in the in Teslas, in the uh, Model Three and Y, I guess it was in the passenger seat, and then it vanished on recent models. And some people noticed, and they were upset about it. Like I use it all the time. Uh. Uh, this is the tweet that started it all from Ryan the Nerd. He says, "I really don't like the direction of Tesla." Raising prices of vehicles, but removing features like lumbar for the Model Y. On top of rumors of FSD increase to 14,000 without any real added features to FSD unless you're a beta tester. Uh, this was replied to by Elon Musk, which is interesting because he was not tagged. Tesla was tagged. Does he monitor the Tesla tag as well? Maybe so. He says moving lumbar or yeah, moving lumbar was removed. I think he needs to edit that one. Uh. Lumbar was removed only in front passenger seat of 3Y. Logs showed almost no usage. Not worth cost and mass production for everyone when almost never used. And then pricing increases were due to major supply chain, price pressure industry-wide, and raw materials. So he's saying the price thing has nothing to do with it. And he's saying, well, we only got rid of the feature because no one was using it. And they have the logs because this is this constant two-way communication between your vehicle and Elon. He sees everything that's going on there. He's like, hey, Will, why aren't you using the lumbar? I was like, I always do, but no one else does. Well, in the passenger seat, the driver's seat, people use it, so they left it. Oh, okay. But in the passenger seat, they say no one was ever activating it. I guess yeah. the passenger is less likely to be in there consistently enough to be right. like, oh, I got to tweak. But I'm with you. I tweak the lumbar. I think even in a passenger, I might reach down and tweak the lumbar. I might be your passenger in your car. I might be looking for the lumbar. Oh, okay. It's possible, but not anymore. Not if you end up getting that Model 3 you sure, talked about. Yeah. Then I got no lumbar. I might be upset about it. 